If you ask me, I think he made a mistake. Babe, come on. We weren't doing anything that egregious. Yeah, I was coming over to your desk, but that's normal. I was coming over to get work done. You know exactly what I mean. I had to put in that work, baby. I can't just idle by sitting at my desk. My beautiful, amazing, hot, just... Just... <clears throat> I ain't even got words, babe. My point is... It's not my fault. I couldn't resist you. You know I can't do that. Why would I ever want to resist you? Babe, the only reason why I chose to apply for this job was so that I could be closer to you. You know that. I like being with you. Oh, relax, he's not going to fire me. For what, being clingy? As if he's not always on call with his wife. Babe, no, I, I am focused. I'm partially, but definitely still kind of focused. The well, last thing I got done, um, uh, uh, I, uh, yeah, it's just been a long day, honey. <laughs> My memory's uh, hazy, you know? It's not me. I won't get us both fired, I promise. If it comes down to it, I will say it was all my own fault. It's okay. I'm happy. <laughs> You're right. I'm happy because I get to spend every single day with you. We won't get fired. They like us too much. We are the ideal couple. Is that what they call me? What? Who said that? Nobody calls me clingy. Babe. Do you think I'm clingy? Honey, no. I'm not clingy. I'm just... Attached. Extremely. Which, I guess, is... Kind of clingy, if you put it that way. But, who cares? I love being with you. I love being with you, baby. I can't imagine being with anybody else. Why would I want to spend my dime next to Josh, you know? No, I don't want to become friends with Josh. I don't, I don't need any other friends. I have you. You're the only friend that I need. <laughs> that is not clingy. It's romantic. Which is not the same thing as clingy. Yes, I remember that time that I followed you into your meeting. I was there as an observer. It's 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 totally different. <laughs> so it's not the same thing. I was taking notes. I'll have you know. I definitely, <laughs> definitely got some good notes. You want to see? I can show you. Here, I, I got this one right here. Let's see. Yes, this was from the meeting. I know it's just a drawing of you. What else am I supposed to be taking notes of? <laughs> it's just you, baby. It's always just been you. Come on. Don't be so uptight. Anyway, I feel like my mood's kind of been killed. Our boss really was so mean to us today. I am taking it seriously. I am. I'm just maybe not as serious as everybody else. And that's because I'm happy and they're not. Duh. I get to be with my love, the love of my life. 
I get to spend every single moment looking at you, being with you, loving you. If this isn't paradise, like, come on. It's the best feeling ever. Babe. You know what you need? You sound a little grumpy. I think I should probably spend the night at your place tonight. No, 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 it's decided. <laughs> I'm coming over. <laughs> That's not clingy. Sheesh, why you keep using that term? Not clingy. I'm loving and deeply attached. Slightly obsessed. Completely infatuated. Madly in love. Can you blame me? I look at you and my heart races a million miles per hour. And I don't want to think about anything else except for you. You're just like an exploding firework. Every single time I see you, my heart goes boom, 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 boom. <laughs> And I have to remind myself, like, damn, she's mine? For real? <laughs> like, actually? It's such an amazing feeling. It's the best. And I would not trade it for anything in the world. Never. I love you too much. I love you so much. And I'm happy that I could be yours. And you could be mine. Speaking of happy, you should be happy, baby. Your presentation, I heard it went well. Yes, honey. You've been working so hard on that. I'm proud of you. I really am. I don't like knowing that you're spending countless hours on something and then for it not to be acknowledged. But at the same time, <laughs> is it? stupid to say that like I want to be the only one to give you that sort of attention when you do well just a little bit of exclusivity with praising you I don't think that's bad Ugh, it's not normal I don't care <laughs> since when did I seem to be somebody who followed the rules of normality I never <laughs> You're so cute. You are so adorable. I love this. So, my stop, I'm not getting off, and instead, spending the night with you. No if, ands, or buts. It's me and you tonight. Yes, that's final. I won't hear anything else, it's just that. Of course, my love. Yeah, we can watch a movie. Cuddle. We can... I don't know. Think of all sorts of good things we can do. It doesn't sound so bad, does it? I didn't think so either. <laughs> Come on. Yes? 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 That's a yes? Hell yeah. I needed this, babe. I needed you. Thank you. What's wrong, baby? <gasps> no, no, it's fine. Tell me, though, what's wrong? Oh, honey, of course I don't mind. That's so sweet of you, actually. It reminds me of how we first met. It was <laughs> silly of me, but it started out with poems, didn't it? And somehow we ended up here. So, of course, I don't mind. 
It's like we're returning to where we first met. I've got a few poems that I can think of. You might enjoy them, actually. I'll keep it romantic, my love. Hmm. Let's start. Oh, my love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love is like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. As fair art thou, my bonnie lass, so deep in love am I. And I will love thee still, my dear, till all the seas gang dry. Till all the seas gang dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun. And I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands of life shall run. And fare thee well, my only love, and fare thee well a while. And I will come again, my love, though it were ten thousand miles. She walks in beauty, like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. And all that's best of dark and bright, meet in her aspect and her eyes. Thus mellowed to that tender light, which heaven to gaudy day denies. One shade the more, one ray the less, had half impaired the nameless grace, which waves in every raven's tree. Or softly lightens over her face, where thoughts serenely sweet express, how pure, how dear their dwelling place. And on that cheek, and over that brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, the smile that win. The tints that glow, but tell of days and goodness spent, a mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. Shall I compare thee to a summer day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate, rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. And summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot, the eye of heaven shines. And often is his gold complexion dimmed. And every fair from fair, sometime declines. By chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade. Nor lose possession of that fair thou owest. Nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, When in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe, their eyes can see, So long lives this, and this gives life to thee. The fountains mingle with the river, and the rivers with the ocean. The winds of heaven mix forever with a sweet emotion. Nothing in the world is single. All things by a law divine, and one spirit meet and mingle. Why not I with thine? See the mountains kiss high heaven. And the waves clasp one another. No sister flower would be forgiven if disdained its brother. And the sunlight clasps the earth. And the moon's beam kissed the sea. Where are all these kissings worth? If thou kiss not me. If ever two were one, then surely we. If ever men were loved by wife, then thee. If ever wife was happy in a man, 
Compare with me, ye women. If ye can, I prize thy love more than whole mines of gold, or all the riches that the east doth hold. My love is such that rivers cannot quench, nor aught but love from the give recompense. Thy love is such I can no way repay. The heavens reward thee, manyfold, I pray. Then, while we live and love, let's so persevere that when we live no more, we may live ever. Before you kissed me, only winds in heaven had kissed me, and the tenderness of rain. Now you have come. How can I care for kisses like theirs again? I sought the sea. She sent her winds to meet me. They surged about me singing of the south. I turned my head away to keep still holy. Your kiss upon my mouth and swift sweet rains of shining April weather found not my lips where living kisses are. I bowed my head lest they put out the fire you lit there with a star. Before you kissed me, only winds of heaven had kissed me in the tenderness of rain. Now you have come. How can I care for kisses like theirs again? Bright star, would I were steadfast as thou art. Not in lone splendor hung aloft the night, and watching with eternal lids apart. Like nature's patient sleepless ere might, the moving waters at their priest-like tasks of pure ebullition rounds earth's human sure. We're gazing on the new soft fallen mask of snow upon the mountains and the moons. No, yet still steadfast, still unchangeable, pillowed upon my fair love's ripening breast to feel forever its soft fall and swell, awake forever in a sweet unrest. Still, still, to hear her tender taken breath, and so live ever, or else swoon to death. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. Whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world, my true. And it's you, or whatever a moon has always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root, the bud of the bud, and the sky of the sky, of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope, or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that keeps the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one which... When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone will weep my outcast state, 
and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends, possessed, desiring this Desiring this man's art and that man's scope, with what I most enjoy contend at least, yet in these thoughts of myself almost despising, happily I think of thee, and then my state, like to the lark at my break of the day arising from the sullen earth, sings hymns at heaven's gates. For thy sweet love remembered such wealth bring, that then I scorn to change my state with kings. Never seek to tell thy love, love that never told can be, for the gentle wind is more silently, invisibly. I told my love, I told my love, I told her all my heart. Trembling, cold, and ghastly fear. Ah, she did depart. Soon after she was gone from me, a traveler came by, silently, invisibly. He took her with a sigh. My face in thine eye, thine and mine appears. And true plain hearts do in the face rest. Where can we find two better hemispheres? Without sharp north, without declining west, whatever dies was not mixed equally. If our two loves be one, or if thou and I love so alike that none can slacken, none can die. Looking up at the stars, I know quite well that, for all they care, I can go to hell. But on earth, indifference is the least. We have to dread from man or beast. How should we like it if stars were to burn with a passion for us that we could not return? If equal affection cannot be, let the more loving one be me. Admirer, as I think I am, of stars that do not give a damn. I cannot now, I see them, say I missed one terribly all day. Were all the stars to disappear or die, I should learn to look at an empty sky and feel its total dark sublime, though this might take me a little time. When you are old and gray and full of sleep and nodding by fire, take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once in the shadows deep. How many loved your moments of glad grace and loved your beauty with love, false or true. But one man loved the pilgrim soul in you and love the sorrows of your changing face. And bending down beside the glowing bars, murmur a little sadly how love fled and paced upon the mountains overhead and hid his face amid a crowd of stars. Drink to me only with thine eyes, and I will pledge with mine or leave a kiss, but in the cup, and I'll not look for wine. The thirst that from the soul doth rise, doth ask a drink divine. But might I, of love's nectar sip, I would not change for thine. I sent thee a rosy wraith, not so much honoring thee, as giving it a hope that there it could not withered be. But thou therein didst only breathe, 
and sent it back to me. Since when it grows and smells, I swear, not of myself, but thee. I guess that's all for tonight, my love. Good night and rest well. I'll be joining you soon. <laughs>